problem eight simply extends problem seven. So we've got all the same corners and we've added one. We have a passenger and we have the master passenger, about 80 kilos. And so we're gonna go at this the same way. We know, we know VX and we need VY because we're gonna use the change in momentum in the Y direction to figure out what the force is in the Y direction. Okay, now here's the thing we're looking for though. We don't need the force on the plane anymore, do we? We don't need that. We need the force on the passenger. But the passenger, fortunately, is going the same velocity as the plane. If the passenger weren't going the same velocity as the plane, the passenger has a real problem. And so, we're gonna go and we're gonna take tangent of this angle we're at on approach, and that's Vy over Vx. So now we have the velocity, the vertical velocity of the passenger. And we need to get the force on the passenger as delta P over delta T for the passenger, which is delta P, or P for the passenger is the mass of the passenger times the velocity, your Vy, this is our Py. Py is mass of the passenger times the velocity in Y. So we know what we're dealing with in terms of the passenger's momentum. We've got the time that it takes place over. And so we get the force on, we get the force on the passenger. Force on the passenger is gonna end up being mass of the passenger times your vertical velocity over this delta t. So that's the force on the passenger. Well, get back to Newton's second law. This is also the mass of the passenger times the acceleration of the passenger. You can see the mass cancels out here and our acceleration of the passenger is Vy over delta t and the pilot as well. Um, and everything in the aircraft and the aircraft, it's, as long as they're all tied down and together, it's all the same. Um, okay, so we know the acceleration. Now, I want you to express this in Gs. So how do you express it in Gs? Well, one G, if you think of it as a conversion, one G is 9.8 meters per second squared. Well, this acceleration is going to be in meters per second squared, and so we need to multiply by a g over 9.8 meters per second squared to convert from meters per second squared to g's. This is gonna give us how many g's we have that we're experiencing in this problem. And so that gives you an idea of, in terms of a fraction of what you normally feel, which is one g, what does, this landing add to it. And that's it for problem eight.